Welcome to this Danfoss iCatB setup and configuration video about how to do basic navigation using the iCatB smartphone app. Watch this iCatB video and get all the benefits of saving time and money with the easy and quick setup of the iCatB and having a safe valve and system operation with the iCatB intuitive navigation. Beside this video, we have multiple online iCatB videos and literature available to support you in doing a correct iCatB installation and support you in efficiently using the different iCatB user interfaces, which you see here. Therefore, scan the QR code shown here to access the online iCatB videos and literature and check out the iCatB support material, which meets your needs. In this iCatB video, we will show you how to power on and start up the iCatB, how to scan and connect the iCatB to your smartphone app, how to do a quick setup of the iCatB with your smartphone app, how to understand the iCatB smartphone app screen layout, how to log in into the iCatB with your smartphone app so that you can configure the iCatB, how the iCatB smartphone app navigation structure is built up, how to access and switch between the different iCatB smartphone app parameters and selection options. How to do a manual valve selection in the iCatB with your smartphone app. How to reset the iCatB to factory settings with your smartphone app. And finally, how to do an iCatB firmware update with your smartphone app. So keep watching this video to learn more about these objectives and explore the full potential of using the iCatB smartphone app. It is very important to ensure that the iCatB is correctly mechanically and electrically installed before starting up the iCatB and starting to configure it. The iCatB should always be installed and connected to other equipment according to the guidelines given in relevant literature, such as the installation and user guides for the iCatB and other equipment. Please note that there are two iCatB online installation videos available to ensure safe and reliable installation and system operation. Here see an image of the iCatB mounted on an ICM motor operated valve. You also see specified the available iCatB models. In this video, we demonstrate the iCatB setup and configuration using an ICM function module located on the table as seen here. And we mount the iCat 600B model onto this ICM function module. However, the setup and configuration procedure is the same for all iCatB models and all suitable valves, and the setup and configuration procedure is the same with a suitable valve already located in a perforation system. You can power on and start up the iCatB once the electrical wiring is completed. Immediately after iCatB power on, then the status light and display lights up as seen here. You can see the status light guide specified here, and you can check the other online iCatB videos, as well as the installation and user guides for more details about the iCatB status light. You can also find more information about the iCatB and the iCatB smartphone app in the iCatB installation guide and the cool config user guide. If you do not already have it, then as first step, download the Danfoss cool config mobile app from App Store onto your smartphone. This mobile app is specifically designed for the iCatB. And moving forward, we will call this mobile app the iCatB smartphone app. Now, then allow Bluetooth and then open the iCatB smartphone app. Press Start Scanning to scan for an available iCatB. The iCatB smartphone app then lists available Bluetooth devices. When the scanning is completed, then press Identify to identify the iCatB which you wish to connect to. If the status light of the iCatB starts to flash with blue light for 15 seconds, then you have identified the correct iCatB. Click on the connect icon to connect the iCatB to your smartphone app. As seen, then you are asked to enter a connection pin code to access the iCatB. The connection pin code is 0000 and only serves to ensure that the connection is intentionally. The access is then read only. If the iCatB has not been configured before, or if the iCatB has been factory reset, then the iCatB initiates the quick setup as seen here. So let's configure the iCatB using this quick setup on the smartphone app. The first step is to give the iCatB a name. 
This supports you to easily identify the iCAD B next time you wish to connect to it. Once given a name, press Return and Next to continue. The next step is to define the iCAD B operation mode as seen, then modulating operation is the default mode. In this example, we keep this operation mode and confirm it by pressing Next. You then need to identify and select the valve onto which the iCAD B is mounted. You can do a manual valve selection as illustrated here, which we'll show later in this video. Or you can do an automatic valve detection. In this example, we do the automatic valve detection by pressing the Auto Detect Installed Valve icon. The iCAD B now detects and configures the given valve, which takes a while and is identified by a humming noise. As seen here, then the iCAD B has detected an ICM25 valve. Press Next to continue. The next step is then to select the iCAD B control method. Since we earlier selected modulating operation, then you need to define an analog input signal in the iCAD B. In this example, we confirm using an analog input signal by pressing Next. You then need to specify the input and output signals. The default input signal is not config and the default output signal is 4 to 20 milliamp. Therefore, in this example, we change the input signal to 4 to 20 milliamps and confirm this by pressing apply. Then press next to continue the setup. You are then asked if you are going to use Modbus to send or read data values. Since the iCAD B is not connected to Modbus in this demonstration, then press the no icon and confirm this by pressing next. The next step is then to specify if the iCAD B is using an uninterruptible power supply, also called UPS. Since this is not the case, then say no to this. Please see more details about UPS operation in a separate iCAD B setup and configuration video. You also need to specify how the valve position should be in emergency state in case of a power failure. As seen, then the default valve position is closed, so in this example we keep this and confirm it by pressing Next. Please see more details about emergency state in a separate iCAD B setup and configuration video. Finally, you are asked to specify the valve service intervals so that you get a warning about this in the iCAD B smartphone app. You can get such a warning only when the iCAD B is connected to the smartphone app. As seen, then the default answer is no, so in this example, we keep this by pressing Next. Please note that if you say no to the service intervals, then the warnings will be completely disabled. You now get an overview of the selected settings, which you can then review. Press Start to confirm and apply the settings to the iCAD B. This brings you to the iCAD B smartphone home screen as seen here. If you have completed the iCAD B setup and configuration, then press the menu icon in the top right corner and press Disconnect. This disconnects the iCAD B from the smartphone app and allows the iCAD B to operate the valve according to the given settings. OK, you have now been introduced to the important considerations before iCAD B startup and what happens during iCAD B power on and startup. You have also seen how to download and open the Danfoss Cool Config mobile app, here called iCAD B smartphone app, and how to identify an iCAD B and connect it to the iCAD B smartphone app. Finally, you have seen demonstrated how to do a quick iCAD B and valve setup by using the default iCAD B quick setup in the iCAD B smartphone app. All this ensures you have an easy access to valve setup and configuration. So, let us now have a look at the iCAD B smartphone app screen layout and navigation structure to better understand the different information and functions given in this smartphone app. Here is an example of how the iCAD B smartphone app home screen looks like with a status overview based on the input given during the quick setup shown earlier in this video. The home screen information and interface include signal strength, menu access icon, actual opening degree based on the given input signal, status of main switch, current active alarm count, input and output readouts matching the given iCAD B operation mode, service reminder, however, not shown here since not enabled during setup, actual power supply input, 
UPS Health, however, not shown here since not enabled during setup. At the bottom of the smartphone app home screen, you find the navigation icons to the different menu groups. If you press the info icon, then you get all details about the iCAD-B, such as name, model, code number, firmware and hardware versions, operation mode, etc. Pressing the alarm icon shows you any current alarms and the event log. As seen, then you can clear the event log should you wish to do so. If you press the service icon, then you access the settings and advanced setup as seen here. If you wish to change any of the iCAD-B settings, then press the menu access icon to access the setup and setting menus. In this example, we are already logged in into the iCAD-B. If this was not the case, then you firstly need to log in to do changes to the settings. This we show later in this video. So, let us then demonstrate the iCAD-B and smartphone navigation structure and show you how to do changes to the iCAD-B settings. This way you get a good understanding of how to use the iCAD-B smartphone app and understand the iCAD-B parameters. And it will efficiently support you in doing the valve setup and configuration, saving your time and cost. If needed, then enter the 8-digit passcode, which from the factory is 12131400. You are now logged in and can do changes to the iCAD-B settings and apply these changes by using the Advanced Setup menu. Therefore, press Advanced Setup to do this. As seen, you now have access to the Control and Advanced Control parameters and selection options. These are based on the parameter list in the iCAD-B User Guide as illustrated here. You then do changes to the iCAD-B parameters and selection options by simply pressing the needed parameter and select between the given selection options, as shown here in the following sequence. Remember to apply any changes to the iCAD-B by pressing Apply after each change you do. Once you have completed the changes to the iCAD-B settings, then press the arrow in the upper left corner of the smartphone app screen to return to the setting menus. You can also manually change the valve opening degree which is set in the iCAD-B. This you can do by changing the main switch from auto to manual as seen here. You can now manually change the valve opening degree as needed. Once done, then change the main switch to auto again. Once you have completed the iCAD-B setup, then press the menu access icon and press Disconnect to disconnect the iCAD-B from the smartphone app. The iCAD-B will now operate the valve according to the configured settings. You can find more information about the iCAD-B and smartphone app navigation and parameters in the iCAD-B and CoolConfig user guides. OK, this was a review of the iCAD-B smartphone screen layout and navigation structure. You now know how to access the parameters and how to navigate in the selection options. This will efficiently support you in doing a fast and correct iCAD-B and valve setup and configuration, ensuring your safe system operation. Now, as shown earlier in this video, then after power on, the iCAD-B quick setup wizard guides you step by step to do an automatic valve configuration so that you can operate the valve with the iCAD-B. However, if needed, then you can also alternatively do a manual valve selection in the iCAD-B. So let us do this. Here you see the iCAD-B smartphone app home screen, in this example with 0% opening degree, since we have yet not configured a valve in the iCAD-B. Firstly press Service and press Advanced Setup, then press Advanced Control. Finally press Valve Configuration, which gives you an overview of valves suitable for the iCAD-B. As seen, then currently, the iCAD-B is specified as not configured. Select the valve type and size corresponding to the valve on which the iCAD-B is mounted. Here you see illustrated how you can identify such a valve. This is taken from the iCAD-B installation guide. Since we demonstrate the valve selection using an ICM25 valve function module, then we select the ICM25 valve. Press apply to confirm and set the ICM25 valve. 
as seen earlier during the automatic valve detection process, then also here during manual valve selection, the IKB detects and configures the given valve, is identified by the humming noise. After this valve selection, then the IKB is now operational and ready for valve operation, or ready for further configuration. Therefore, to get to the IKB smartphone app home screen, first you press the arrow in the upper left corner of the smartphone app screen several times and press the status icon at the lower left corner. OK, you have now seen demonstrated how to do a manual valve selection in the iCAT-B. This supports you in doing a fast and easy valve setup, saving your time and costs. So, let us then, as a final exercise, show you how you can reset the iCAT-B to factory settings and show you how you can do a firmware update of the iCAT-B. So, let us start with resetting the iCAT-B to factory settings. From the service menu, press Advanced Setup. Then press Factory Reset and press OK to the Factory Reset. Finally, confirm the Factory Reset. The iCAT B is now reset to Factory Settings. Let us finally do a firmware update of the iCAT B using the smartphone app. Therefore, press the menu access icon and press Update Firmware. As seen, then you first need to set the main switch to manual before you can do a firmware update. Therefore, press OK to this. Press Advanced Setup and press Control, then press Main Switch and press Manual. Press Apply to set the iCAT-B to manual operation. Finally, press the arrow in the upper left corner of the smartphone app screen several times to return to the setting menus. Now press Update Firmware. In this example, we have installed an older firmware version 14.0 to demonstrate the firmware update. And as seen, then the newest available firmware version is 15.21. Press OK to confirm this and press Update to do the firmware update. The update then starts and is identified on both the smartphone app and the iCAT-B display. The update takes a while, as seen in the following sequence. Once the firmware update is completed, then you need to reset the iCAT-B to automatic operation, which was the previous setting. Therefore, press OK and close to confirm this. As seen, then you need to reconnect the iCAT-B to the smartphone app to reset the iCAT-B to the previous settings. Connect the iCAT-B to the smartphone app, log in and reset the iCAT-B to automatic operation, and then disconnect the iCAT-B from the smartphone app. This is shown in the following sequence. OK, you have now seen demonstrated how to reset the iCAT-B to the default factory settings, and you have seen how to do a firmware update of the iCAT-B. This supports you in doing a fast, easy and flexible iCAT-B and valve setup. So, you have now completed this Danfoss iCAT-B setup and configuration video about basic navigation using the iCAT-B smartphone app. This means that you know how to power on and start up the iCAT-B, you know how to scan and connect the iCAT-B to the smartphone app. You know how to do a quick setup of the iCAT-B. You know how to understand the smartphone app home screen. You know how to log in into the iCAT-B. You know how the iCAT-B and smartphone app navigation structure is built up. You know how to understand the iCAT-B parameters and selection options. You know how to do a manual valve selection. You know how to reset the iCAT-B to the factory settings. And finally, you know how to do an iCAT-B firmware update. All this ensuring a correct and safe system operation. Please check out the other online iCAT-B setup and configuration videos. And please also have a look at the other online learnings about the Danfoss iCAT-B actuator for motor operated valves. Thanks for watching.